Welcome back. It's me, Lou. All right, so I'm going to apologize in advance. Um, I am not going to fully unbox and review this figure. Um, uh, for me, this is kind of much more of a collectible than something that I, I would like to actually open up and display. So I'm going to leave this as it is, mint on card. Uh, but at the very least, you know, I, I kind of want to run you through this whole um, Wondar experience, you know, for lack of a better term. All right, so this is the Masters of the Universe um, Origins Wondar. So I did not um, order this when it was officially made available. Um, I think it was... It, this is a pre-order figure only, and I think they only had like limited quantities, or you only had it like until a certain date. I can't remember what the deal was. Uh, but when they announced this, I wasn't really interested in this figure because um, some time ago I already made like a Wondar a uh, custom action figure of my own. So I didn't really feel the need to like add this to my collection. Uh, but recently, uh, one of my good friends, Keith, uh, he got, he had an extra one of these and he asked if I wanted it. I'm like, you know, <laughs> I'm like, sure, why not? Uh, so he gifted this um, action figure to me, which is really nice. So Keith, if you're watching this video, thank you so much for this. Uh, it's a cool figure. And as you can see, um, it comes in this protective mailer box, which is essentially just like a plain box. And then there's a really cool illustration on here. Um, and it's kind of inspired by the artwork of Frank Frazetta, uh, the very popular fantasy artist from, I think, like the late 60s and 70s. Um, it's pretty cool. I dig this a lot. And like I said, you know, I don't want to like destroy this package. For me, this is much more of a collectible than anything else. And this was already opened. So let's remove the, the action figure from the protective box. And here we go. We have Wondar. Um, mint on card. As you can see, the card, it's not even punched out uh, because this never saw the light of day at retail. So there's no reason for this to get punched out. This is new for 2022. And Wondar, he is the Savage He-Man. Okay, so my knowledge of Wondar gets very confusing because I've heard different things and I don't really know what's the legit deal. So, all right, so if I'm completely off and completely wrong, just feel free to, like, yell at me and correct me down below in the comments. All right, so from what I kind of remember, uh, Wondar, I think he might have been one of the early designs of He-Man. I might be wrong on that, though. Um, I've heard other things that he was originally a Wonder Bread uh, mail-away, and I've also heard that that might be false. So I don't know what the deal is. Um... It's a cool figure. He kind of has that uh, uh, Zodak body armor, but it's in black. And it's He-Man's head. As you can see, it's, it's the classic OG He-Man uh, inspired head sculpt. It's not the modern one. Um, unlike He-Man, though, he's a brunette and not a blonde. And he shares essentially all the same body pieces as He-Man. has the same chest, same torso, same arms. Um, he might have different arms than the Origins uh, He-Man, though, because I think Origins He-Man only has the, gaunt the gauntlet on one forearm, and I think it's different on the other. Um, same legs, same boots, and he even comes with a comic book. It says The Lost Legend. I'm sure if you hunt around online, you could probably find a PDF file or, you know, someone might have just scanned the whole thing in. Uh, on the back of the box is really cool. Instead of having like the usual like here's what the figure does and here's what's also available, it gets really cool illustration. Um, I'm I'm not familiar with who these characters are. <laughs> Again, if you know if you want to like educate me, feel free to in the comments. Um, I want to say this might be uh, which version of um, Tila. There's another version of Tila that I can't remember her name. It's like it's like Battle, Battlefront Tila or something like that. Uh, but it's cool. I dig this a lot. 
I like the fact that there's like these neon green skeleton warriors. I'm a big fan of like this skeleton warriors. Um, I'm kind of really into like Warhammer, and one of the armies I want to put together for Age of Sigmar is just like, you know, just skeletons. I like skeletons a lot. But this is cool. I dig this a lot. This is really awesome. Really, really fun illustration. Yeah, so really cool figure. I mean, this is like one of those deals too. I remember on social media, like everyone was so excited when they announced it and everyone was even more excited when they finally got the figure in hand because I, I just remember for like maybe like a month, month and a half, just constantly seeing like images of Wondar on like my Facebook and my Instagram feed. You know, people were so stoked on finally get like getting like an official figure of this character. Uh, Mattel did make... Uh, I think a Masters of the Universe classics figure of Wondar years, years ago. Um, and if, you know, if you're big into like the classics figures, those are awesome. You know, they're larger than this. I think they're like seven inch scale action figures and they're, they're awesome. But they're, they're really, really pricey on the secondary market. But this is cool. I like this guy. So the one of the reasons why I wasn't too enthusiastic about getting uh, this figure when Mattel announced them it was because I actually made a custom Wondar of my own. Let me grab that real quick. All right, so I don't remember if I made this Wondar before they announced their version or after. I just remember at the time that I actually had uh, the body armor piece because that I think was taken from the um, accessory pack, I believe. And this is the OG... Uh, body armor and then I just took an origins figure and I'm like I'm just gonna make my own one dar and since it's within the origins line I didn't I opted to use the modern he-man head the origins head I didn't I didn't want to use the um uh the older retro style one because I mean for me personally I don't have an issue with the modern head design for me this is kind of like I consider origins a completely different line than the original series so for me this, for me, at least when it comes to Origins, the modern head is the one that I associate with He-Man. So I had no problem just using that head and just repainting the hair and just, you know, just repainting the parts of the He-Man body so it would match. So yeah, this is my custom. I would take them out, but uh, the paint I used is reacting violently with the plastic. So it's essentially melting the plastic right now. So his he his head, especially his hair, it's just like really, really sticky and tacky. It's like really disgusting. And I think there is a way to f correct that. Um, I think I could just take like uh, watered down Mod Podge, which is essentially like a white PVA glue. And it's like, you know, smothered over the hair to like reseal it. And then I think it'll like remove the tackiness. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison. We have my custom Wondar on the left, the official on the right. The official one looks a lot better. <laughs> so, um, And on the back, so for my custom Wondar, I made the card back myself, designed that in Photoshop. And then I wanted to do something that felt very retro. So I was just combing around online and I found an old black and white uh, newspaper ad for JCPenney and then like an advertisement for them selling Masters of the Universe. Um, so I just thought that'd be fun to throw on the on the card back. You know, it's black and white. It kind of like captures this very specific period of time. And I don't even know if JC Penney is still a thing right now. I think they might be filing for bankruptcy. I think, which is sad because I think they survived the pandemic. But um, I'm not sure if they're gonna last much longer. I, I might be wrong on that though. But that was like one of those things when I was a little kid, you know, you go to your like local JCPenney. For me, I had one in my shopping mall. And I remember JCPenney had like a toy department and they'd carry Masters of the Universe. And which was awesome also is that this is like around the time when Transformers was huge. And I'm not sure if Transformers was something they distributed. Maybe they didn't have a deal with Hasbro yet. But they would actually carry like the bootleg uh, Transformers from like asia and i think they even carried diaclone so it was nuts like for me instead of having like the legit sound or the legit shockwave figure i had like the weird like gray version laser man or whatever he was called 
So it was just a very different p- period of time. And I remember my JC Penny, they even had like a storefront window. And every uh, winter, they'd always dress up the win- the window um, to reflect that it's the Christmas season, the holiday season, and it's time to go shopping. And then I remember, th- I remember this vividly. One one Christmas, they decorated the window, you know, for the holidays, and they just they just displayed all these toys, and they made this amazing like uh, Star Wars diorama, where they recreated Hoth with like cotton, and then they would have like the AT-AT and then the snow speeder. And that left such a huge impression on me. You know, even to this day, I'm like, that was such a cool thing. Uh, but enough reminiscing. Um, uh, here's Wondar. Uh, do you need them? If you're a completionist, yes. Uh, if Wondar is one of those, you know, mythical beings that you've always been fascinated about and you feel the need that you ha- you have to have them and you didn't pre-order him, yeah, he's definitely worth the purchase. I'm not sure what he's going for right now on the secondary market. I'm assuming a lot. So, you know, just be prepared to, like, you know, pay an arm and a leg for this guy. Unless you can find a, a seller that's reasonable or maybe, who knows, maybe you could trade with another fan, you know, so. Cool figure. Um, again, I apologize that I, don't un- that I did not unbox him and fully, like, review him. You know, this figure's been out for a long time now, so chances are you could just, like, go on YouTube and hunt down a full review. All right, so with that being said, let's wrap this one up. Uh, Once again, my name is Lou. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. I greatly appreciate it. So, until the next video, uh, be safe, take care of yourself, buy lots of toys, and most importantly, be happy. And I'll see you at the next one. All right? Later.